Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back in another tutorial. Today, I'll be teaching you guys how to make an island which looks somewhat like Egas. It isn't exactly the same, but that can be fixed if you want to change out the animation yourself by buying a 3D model. Anyways, it's quite a simple tutorial. You will only need a couple of things, which will all be available for download down below, except for Element 3D, but that isn't hard to come by. So. Let's get started and hop into After Effects. Okay, so once you load up After Effects, you will probably think, huh, where's animation? Well, first off, you want to check if you even see the name, because if you don't see the name, then your After Effects, or your, I mean your Element 3D, isn't working correctly. But if you do, then you just want to check if the animation, just because if that isn't there, then your Element 3D is working fine, so check if the name is there, if it is, then your element 3D is okay. But we first got to fix the eye, because essentially we changed systems, so we lost the file location. So to do that, go into don't adjust composition, where it says dark gray solid, is where you want to change it. So it says the layer is locked, so to unlock it, press the little lock icon down to the left, and then as you can see, you can now edit the layer. So go into effect controls and then element and press scene setup. So once you wait for that to load, you can see it is completely empty. To fix that, press import. And you will see Eye of Agamotto by Synctify. Then press open. And make sure you leave these all enabled, just like I have here. So press load material, diffuse color, Specular color, specular co coefficient, and diffuse map, specular map, bump map, reflection map should all be enabled. And these you shouldn't have enabled. So then press OK. And if all went well, it will load in like this. But first, we gotta fix some things about this because it isn't quite right for the animation to be correctly. So open this up and go into the Smeraldo underscore one. Then scroll down to when you see illumination and make sure to drag the intensity up to I'd say 120%. Yeah, that's correct. Then go into the Oro uh, material. You can go into the materials by dropping down on this menu, by the way. The Oro material, you want to scroll down until you see, uh, where was it again? Reflectivity, make sure to put the reflectivity color for the Oro layer on this color code. Um, I will put this on the screen so it's easier for you guys. Then press OK. And it will look something like this. Now I have the eye basically fixed up, but there's only one thing left to do. And that is to fix the scale. So you want to go onto the square again and... Turn off this lock, which leaves them uh, connected together. So turn, it, turn that off on the first spot, but 512.5. And on the second one as well, 512.5. And on the last one, you want to put 606.4, like that. And as you can see, the eye is way bigger right now. Then that's it for the element 3D and fixing the eye. So you can just click OK. And then this will maybe pop up, but just click OK and exit out of here. And now if we, if you, if we preview that, the eye should come up like this. Like that, it works perfectly fine. Then go into the render disk comp and check if it's still working fine. And like that, the island is back to normal. So now we can focus on changing the name to whatever we'd like. So close the don't adjust composition and go into the change name composition. Uh, fade up to 100%. And to change the name, first check if the element 3D is still working fine. But now, to fix the name, we want to go into the change name composition. Turn that up and change the name with the text tool right here. So change it to whatever you'd like. 
for the sake of this tutorial, I will just change it to name. Make sure to use capital letters or else this font, which you should have installed from the uh, download down below in the description. You want to make sure you type in caps because if you don't type in caps with this font, it will look like this, quite ugly. So make sure you type in caps like this. And now if you disable it, you, may, you want to make sure you disable this layer again like this. And now if it leaves you that, the animation will work as expected. Now go into the render disk composition again and make sure to watch it. And make sure there aren't any mistakes whatsoever. So if all went well, it should just be the clean animation and after this there should be a zoom out of the text. And as you can see, that works well for me. I'm not going to show you the entire preview because uh, it takes quite long to pre-render it in full resolution. So you guys can see it as well. But Now I'm just going to show you quickly how to render an island like this. It isn't quite hard. Just go to File, Export, and then Add to Render Queue. And press that right there. Now it will come up with this little menu. Don't be overwhelmed by it, it is quite easy to understand. So go to output model where it says lossless, press it, and then go to channels and turn up RGB plus alpha. Like that. Now where it says output to, you can change it. So I think I'm going to change it to, I'd say, Aga Island Inctify. And then just press save and it will, and this will be the location where it will be installed or well, I mean sorry my bad rendered so then you, if you just press render it will start rendering the animation just like this as you can see it goes quite fast and like that it is finished now that was basically it for this tutorial thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time drop some ideas down below in the comments where I can make my next tutorial on. and thank you guys for watching again